men from Essex who were arrested on suspicion of attempted murder on the Costa Blanca returned home after five months in a Spanish jail. Kyle Thane and James Harris were arrested in July after two men were stabbed in a bar. Neither has been charged, but until now, they've not been allowed to return to Britain. This was the moment Kyle Thane was reunited with his mother at Stansted Airport earlier this evening. We'll hear from both of them in just a moment. But first, this report from Alex Dunlop. James Harris had only packed for a long weekend in Spain. Eight months later, he's finally back home in South End. It's nice to be back with my mum and my sister. Um, without their support, you know, I, I definitely would have got under friends and family, everyone. But we just want it to end, and I just want to be James again. I don't want to be this person with this over my head. I just want to go back to being James Harris, you know, the guy from South End, rather than what you read in the papers and the press. I just want some normality. Last July, the underwriter and his friend Kyle, an estate agent, were arrested at Alicante Airport as they were about to fly home on suspicion of stabbing two men in the resort of Cabo Roig. The attack took place at this bar the night before. The witnesses spoke of two men, one tall, one short, with London accents being involved. But James Harris and Kyle Thane say photos prove they were in a different bar at the time and maintain they're the victims of mistaken identity. They were released from this Spanish jail in November, but until now, they've not been allowed to leave the country. There should be a trial. It could take a long time. But there again, uh, by a long time, it could be two years, it could be any... Uh, we, we don't know. Tonight, families and friends of both men are heading back to South End to celebrate their return. But of course, overshadowing that will be the legal battle, which could drag on for many years yet. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East, Stansted Airport. Well, earlier this evening, just moments after landing at Stansted Airport, I spoke to Carl Thane and his mother and began by asking what it was like to be home. It's amazing. Words can't describe. It's a shame because it's such a beautiful moment. Oh, I haven't got the words in order to <laughs> put it into context, to be honest. I'll, I couldn't be happier. I'm a very lucky boy. There is obviously celebrations uh, tonight, but it remains the fact, although you haven't been charged, um, your innocence has still not been proved, has it? That's correct. So we, we were never charged from the, from the word go. We've always been on remand. And we do need to prove our innocence. Unfortunately, we do have plenty of evidence to show that we had nothing to do with this. They've never found anything to match us to it. It's literally only people saying that we had something to do with this. Sharon, uh, it has been a long and costly uh, legal battle. You, you had to sell your house in order to, to, to fund legal costs. We did. We're just a working class family. We had to find money. It wasn't just the legal cost. It was going to Spain, going over to see Kyle. It's been a nightmare. So we just thought, let's sell. There's nothing more valuable than Kyle. So let me ask you about the next steps then, um, Kyle. You're going to have to report to the Spanish embassy in London every fortnight from now on. That's correct, yes. Well, it's every 15 days we have to report to the Spanish consulate in London. And, and at once, I think a little bit more times, we, we've signed there a little bit more times, taking its toll, then our solicitor will put in the paperwork to release us from the case altogether. I can't wait to just get back to my life because I have a fantastic one. Carl Thane talking to me earlier. A motorcycle.